I haven't changed my sweatshirt since we uh, filmed that intro. Good morning, ESM. I am not excited for this one. And I'm Toby. You may remember a while ago, John and Luke gave a list of bad morning show ideas. And one of the ideas was a water taste test of sorts. And I said, <laughs> you're wrong. And I wrote a script. So today, we are going to be doing a little game show right after news and announcements. Kiki Hardy, a kindergartner from Vista, California, managed to raise over $7,000 to eliminate her entire district school lunch debt. Hardy, who was five years old, decided to take action after hearing that many parents at the school were behind on lunch payments, so she decided to start selling cookies and hot cocoa in order to help out. Syracuse University student Alan Gonzalez, 22, is still missing after police determined they think he accidentally fell into the water the night of January 18th. Syracuse police, along with the state police dive team, went and searched for the boy on Tuesday at Onondaga Creek in hopes of finding him. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be a criminal justice club meeting after school tomorrow in the Career Center. All are welcome to attend. Today's touchdown tourney is a day not to be missed. Come and join us in the library after school to watch Mr. Hart, Mr. Causer, Mr. Underwood, Mr. Beli, I think that's how you do it, and Mr. Ribzak to take on the students of ESM. Okay. All right, so let's get this started. Basically, we have, we have water. five waters here, or four waters in a thermos. That's because one of them is hot dog water. Made fresh this morning. Made fresh this morning. It's still warm. Nothing goes better for breakfast than hot dogs. So, Malachi, do you have your blindfold on? No. Put Shut on up. your blindfold. I'm working on it, yes. All right, bring in the first water. Just put it right in front of me. You didn't put right. it in my hand. My hand is outstretched. So this is the first water? Yeah, yes? I All right. Okay. Well, Cheers. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully you got sound of me swallowing. All right. So the rules are... Can I take my blindfold whoever, off and talk? No, you may not. Oh. Uh, we, ha we drink the water, and we see which one is the... Uh, we, we try and guess of these which this one is. So I'm going to clock in my vote at Dasani. I'm going, wait, what are the options? The options? We don't have a Dasani. Oh, shoot. Aquafina, uh, yeah, Icelandic, I was gonna say the Smart same. Water. Ah, Aquafina and off. Dasani are the same. And Fiji Water. I'm going to say Aquafina. I'm, going, I'm also saying Aquafina. Aquafina, what's that? What's that one? Smart Water. Smart, that's Smart Water? It's almost as if it it's tasted, water. It, it tasted tasted like a water bottle, though. I feel like Smart Water is better than that. All right, bring in the next one. I'm just waiting for the hot dog water. I'm really scared. I'm not. All right, cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what basic things taste like. Co I know that the cover all nine thousand taste buds. I know. <laughs> I know that the Icelandic water is more basic. I gotta I go with. I'm going with. I think. I feel like that one's Aquafina. That one's Aquafina. I feel like yeah. I think. I think I might have to agree with you, because like, when I think Aquafina, I think the taste of the water bottle. So, Owen? You were correct at first. It's Icelandic. It's Icelandic? Ah! Uh, I don't know what basic things taste like, this except for like Starbucks. Starbucks coffee. Yeah, they taste like Starbucks. All right, bring in the third one. Let's see if I can get one of them right. So our options are now uh, Aquafina, Fiji, and hot dog. OK. I feel like we're just going to get them all wrong, and then we're going to like vomit when the hot dog water comes out. And that's going to be comedy. Um, Are we cheersing again? I already drank it. Oh, well, piss. <laughs> uh, that one. Oh, shoot. I feel like I want to guess Aquafina. Yeah, again. me too. I want to yeah. guess Aquafina but for But I'm not them, going to. I'm going to say that's Fiji. I'm going to take this off because we have to go to weather. So I'm Fiji going Aquafina. And Aquafina? What's that one? It's Fiji. Damn it. Hey! I mean, heck it. Ding. I get one point, and we are going to carry on after weather. Today will begin cloudy with intervals of sun developing into the afternoon and a high in the mid to upper 20s. Tomorrow will be dry and chilly with sunshine all day and highs in the high 20s again. Friday will have sun and clouds with seasonable temperatures and a high in the low to mid 30s. Saturday we should be on the lookout for a developing snowstorm off the east coast and this weekend we'll see some snow showers and highs in the low to mid 30s. 
Monday and Tuesday should warm up slightly with some more mild temperatures, resulting with possible rain showers on Tuesday. I'm Allie with your weather. Hi, I'm Jane with Mysterious Facts. Today we tackle supernovas. Can you explain what supernovas are? I sure can. It's a powerful and luminous stellar explosion. It's usually an astronomical event that occurs during the last stages of a massive star or when a white dwarf is triggered into a runaway nuclear fusion. So in simple terms, when a star dies, it explodes. However, can it destroy our entire solar system? It may. A supernova explosion can result in a shock wave that could not destroy the whole Earth, but the side of the Earth facing the sun would boil away, along with the other stars beyond our solar system. Wow! Chances are it may cause an extinction event, but that's not at all because we have to wait millions of years to have that happen. Well, that's it for Mysterious Facts. Hopefully there are no supernovas today. Until then, be careful. I can Welcome really back. Go. I definitely didn't say a swear word. I would much rather have a supernova right now than drink hot dog water. Well, we uh, I've guessed Aquafina for everything, and the only things we have left are Aquafina, <laughs> Aquafina and, hot, and dog hot dog water. water. So I'm gonna get one right, right eventually. All right, let's go for it. Let's let's back make it happen. It. I, let's bring in the fourth cup. I feel like see now I think that this I'm gonna get. I'm scared. All right, where are we at? I don't know. I don't want to knock it this, over. This is mine. This is mine. Yes. Say yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's warm. Uh, it's warm. It's right. warm. Hold my hand. <laughs> Hold my hand. <laughs> this is the hand with the water in it. <laughs> I don't Why like did this we show. Do this? I don't like this show. Why did we do this show? <laughs> okay, bring in number five. So that's hot dog water. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, hang on. <laughs> that's Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, bring in the, okay, bring the in palate cleanser. I'm shaking. The palate cleanser is just more water. <laughs> it's more hot dog water. Hey, uh, we'd like a quick shout out to Owen. Hi, Owen. Quick shout out to Owen. All right, Malachi, do you have your cup? Yeah, I've already been, All right. I've already begun. I'm gonna have to guess Aquafina for that one. Yeah, that's Aquafina. <laughs> oh, that's so nice after that. All right, so I'm gonna give us. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. That is going to stay with me us, for the rest of the day. I'm going to give me two points, and I'm going to give Malachi two points because we each knew what those were. Uh, you got, like, but two at other the end of the right day, now. huh? Didn't yeah. you get? Yeah, no, you. Yeah, got I got. I only got one other. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I have three points, and you have two. But. And I. I'm cool, so I win. I can't argue with that logic. On um, to sports. And now we're going to head to sports. I'm going to give John a quick drink of water because get it because we give him the football. Oh, no, I'm not drinking that. That was hot dog water. They lied to me. Um, <laughs> the girls' basketball team lost against Fulton last night, 52-38. to Lena Polcaro led the team with 14 points. The boys' basketball team defeated Fulton 60-45 to to improve to 13-2. The team was led by Matt Birchall and Joe Kopp. Matt had 17 points, and Joe had 8 points and 12 rebounds. Great win. The Syracuse men's basketball team lost in a close game to Clemson last night, 71-70. to Clemson scored the game-winning layup in the final seconds for the win. Buddy Bayham and Elijah Hughes both led the team with 22 points each. Elijah Hughes was named Syracuse's player of the game. The Bucks defeated the Wizards last night, 151-131 to in a high-scoring game. Chris Middleton led the Bucks with his career high of 51 points. He was in because of the absence of injured Giannis. With this win, the Bucks improved to league best of 41-6. In upcoming games, the wrestling team has a match at JD. Good luck to the Spartans. And I'm John, Lee Sports. All right, I uh, need a palate cleanser. Yeah, um, I didn't like no. that. Do, what, got my chalky <laughs> milk. Can I get some chalky milk? No, it's mine. Well, on that note, we're uh, very quickly approaching the out of time mark. Uh, final takeaway, uh, I 
Do not recommend hot dog water. No, mm. I, I um. do not. Now, for me, Malachi, hey, hey, I see you turning off the morning show. I I'm not hot done. Dog. <laughs> for me, Malachi, and everyone else here on the morning show, have a good day. Carry on.